Beauty. Strange, unusual, natural beauty lives in this world. Some say these animals are hidden, but in reality, they're slowly fading away. Tim Flack's photography captures animals using principles of human portraiture. His composition, cropping and framing are highly calculated, however these technicalities are the lesser instrument. His camera captures conceptualized images that read as a book, for they tell the story of who these subjects are. When we look at an animal and it gazes back at us, we are left in that space of, of what is the consciousness? What do they understand of us? Do they have a soul? Do they have, you know, how are they different to us? I find that fascinating. That's something that I am intrigued by. I also always appreciate that we, just as we can't understand another human being ultimately, uh, we can have a sense for something. And what is the sense we have for the animals? His work is often considered as the opposite to anthropomorphism. That is when we attribute human traits to non-human entities. Even though we find them in positions and poses uncannily similar to ours, Flack doesn't wish to bring out the humanity in them, but rather to show them for who they are. That led to Flack's latest project, Endangered, a worldwide embarkment to document animals and ecosystems facing harsh challenges. You might be familiar with some of the animals and their predicament, yet with some, you probably didn't know they exist or still exist. Because if we don't accept their identity as their identity, it then becomes difficult to save them. If there's no respect, then there's no conservation. To anthropomorphize is to believe that we are at the center of everything, when in reality, we are a part of everything. But we've emerged with this family of animals, and so who we are must be inextricably linked. These images expose the relationship between human and non-human animals. And the image that captured me the most is the saiga. He tells how these antelopes cannot be maintained in zoos because their bones are so light that they would crash in a transport container. Locals persecute them for their horns and hunt them down in mopeds. In Tim's words, often the less exciting images have the most interesting backstories. Words and notions such as endangered and extinct are expressed in a trivial manner inside a conversation that is in reality profoundly tragic. Animals are not hiding, they are retreating. Experts have declared our times as the Anthropocene epoch, the dawn of human-influenced age. Humans have made a huge hole in nature in the last 10,000 years, and now not only do we have the ability, but also the moral obligation to repair some of the damage. Flack's work inspires, challenges and informs. It is rare to find such a sensibility, for it is more than empathy, but a will to understand, to shed our skin and to look straight in the eye of those who live in the world with us. To share what it means to be an animal in this planet and what it means for them to disappear.